Welcome to QB Film Room. We're taking an in-depth look at Justin Fields, Ohio State. Shout out to at the Woke Sports Fan for providing this video. But right here, first play of the game, there's some pressure. Under coverage has his routes covered. He keeps his eyes up even as he's stepping up into the pocket, something that translates to the National Football League. Even though he takes a sack, maybe he gains a yard on this. The process is right. You know, he's not dropping his eyes. Right here, okay, second and long. He looks to the sideline. He looks to the top of the screen. Pre-snap, he's getting a hard corner, so he's looking to see if he can fit that ball into the cover two point. Right here, he realizes he can't. He maintains his mechanics. He comes from one to two. Number two's covered, and then he's off to the other side of the field to create and then to flip his hips. Even though it's an incompletion, it speaks to, again, his understanding how he's processing things in conjunction with maintaining his mechanics. Your third and long, he's got his Texas route immediately. One, two, three balls out, two high safeties, prevent from the zone defense or from the undercover defenders. So he knows immediately where to go with the football, puts it on him. It's a big time gain on third and long. Just a good understanding of where to go with the football, given the situation. And they're down six nothing at this point. He's not panicking. One, two, three. There's our check down. And a hell of a move by two there. High release point too. Natural throw of the football. Fields has great feet. One, two, three balls out. Reading the corner to see if the corner is bailing on him. He's seeing press man. That's confirmed. One, two, three. Shoot it out to 13. Okay. So in this regard, he's much more mechanically refined in terms of playing the position from the pocket in rhythm than I originally thought he was after watching just about two full games. Now I've watched about five or six full games. Right there, spraying the ball out, incompletion. But, you know, it's it's apparent that Fields, not only is he, is he a natural athlete, you know, he was a big-time high school baseball prospect being courted by the MLB, uh, you know, and he played the infield. He played shortstop. So that translates to his game right here big time throw notice the eye discipline upon receival of the snap two high safeties he knows he wants to take a shot to his deep boundary fade but fields eyes all the way to the left until the last second to freeze the the safety and then to shoot something about 52 yards on a line down the sideline okay so this is pretty impressive Now we're into the second quarter. Again, Fields playing from the pocket. The coverage sinks off of his targets and immediately decides to rush the football, use his athleticism. Right here, heck of a throw on the shallow cross on second and long. He can't see where this receiver is. Off balance, moving to his left at the last second. Flick of the wrist in stride to the receiver, allowing him to pick up optimal yak yardage on that throw, right? We can check the throw out from this angle. Very good job. In stride. Here we go. Uh, we have some boot action for field. Surveying. Last second. Not forcing anything. Very judicious with his decision making. For the most part. Deciding to run the football. Right there. Fast, let's fast forward a little bit here. He's taking a shot deep. Pretty good throw here, you know, in terms of recognizing it's there. A little bit underthrown, but nonetheless, a big time pass play. Here we go, half roll for Fields here. You got play action. You can see the feet are good. So he can operate under center seamlessly in terms of transition. Much better prospect than Dwayne Haskins was in 2019. If we're going to use that comp. Again, right here, judicious with the football. 28-16. to 16, 
a chance to put this game away early in the third quarter to go up 35 to 16, right? But he's not going to force anything. You know, he's you know, you know, he's not going to force a corner round. He's not going to force the crosser. Nobody's open. He's living to play another down. Shotgun, one, two, three. Nice concept by Ohio State. But again, the understanding, one, two, three, hitch, throw on him. The velocity. Now this game is essentially over at this point. And we saw him make a throw similar to this in the uh, semifinal game against Clemson where he put the ball on the tight end with anticipation in the end zone. So a really good understanding for throwing the football into tight spots. Right here, again, out of structure. It's all improv at this point. Um, you know, the pressure comes. It's a fake tunnel. And then he basically finds the green space right here to extend. Hips flipped. Touch, velocity. Perfect. Okay. So the more I watch Fields, obviously the more I like him. You know, I, you know, I think he's a heck of a quarterback prospect. Right there, not a great throw. Right there, trying to throw a touch down the sideline. Really good ball right there. Should have, should have probably been six here. So we see this. He puts a pretty good touch on this thing, and it's just dropped. So. More play action right here. If you watch this crosser, this is a bad route by him. He should be stemming this hard with his head and eyes upfield and then breaking on the over, but he doesn't do that. It allows 31 to close on him. So not really Fields' fault there. Really good pocket instincts. Again, the natural athlete coming out right here to create. On the move. A little bit too much juice on that one. But the right idea. Survey, survey, one, two. He gets out. Maintains his mechanics at the end. Hips flip, short stop. Big time throw. So this is a kid that, you know, I think is going to be an NFL starting quarterback. And I think he's going to be a good NFL starting quarterback. Okay. Um, you know, right here, survey deep for a beat. Maintains his mechanics. Puts the ball on 11 immediately. Again, allowing for that yak op, you know, allowing for the yak opportunity. So, Justin Fields.